Sports, 1500 meters T54. Well, there's a couple of names we'll be familiar with, particularly the one at the top, Tatiana McFadden has won three golds so far. She could win six, She'll probably go for the marathon, unless she too is going to be tempted over to London. They haven't finalized that field yet. There might be seven goals this week. She's won three already, Tatiana McFadden. Yet to win a medal this week. Is Edith Wolf. She's a lady who can definitely change that. Sorry, she's actually won two bronzes this week, as Edith Wolf. Gunilla Wallengren for Sweden. Diane Roy of Canada. Multi medalist over and over again. Diana for Argentina. Silver in the 5,000 and the 800. It's been a really good week so far for Manuela Shah, championship record as well in the 5,000 for Switzerland. And Amanda McGrory of the United States, who's won all of the big city marathons, Boston, London. Gold in the 5,000 in Beijing. Marathon silver. So the field is strong. First three qualify for the final of the 1500 meters and the four fastest losers. Tatiana McFadden heading out towards the front. You knew that would happen. Edith Wolf, Gunilla Wallengren, Diane Roy, Valeria Yara, Manuela Shah, and Amanda McGrory. And look at how far she's out already. It was a fantastic lead. Already three gold medals this week. 100 meters she won earlier today. And Tatiana, Tatiana McFadden is already out in the front. Swiss are trying to make a move to catch up with her. In second and third are Edith Wolf and Manuela Shah. And it's the Canadian, Roy, who's in fourth at the moment. And one runaway leader is Tatiana McFadden. Three laps to go. Way out in front, but the rest are now catching up. And well, maybe that's a breakaway for now, but she's runs off a good bit of the field. Now they all come back together again. Yes, an explosive start from Tatiana McFadden, very much as we saw in the last race from Marcel Hoover. This is sometimes the top athletes do this, they try and break other people's rhythms up. But Tatiana McFadden went away very quickly there indeed. And uh, then she just decided, no, now I'll let everyone catch up with me. And so we've got a bunch now as they come round. Uh, they're all keeping pretty much together. Just lost one at the back, so it goes back as far as Wallendron in the yellow. Yes. Tatiana McFadden just tucked in in second place behind one of the Swiss girls. She's got a Swiss girl either side at the moment, and now McFadden goes back, and the Swiss will have to work as a pair to get back. So it's McFadden and the two Swiss girls. Great break on the uh, outside. Something else acceptable has happened in the field which we'll tell you about in a moment. The uh, crowd are hearing about it right now, but we've got to concentrate on this semi-final. And uh, out in front, Shah with McFadden happily tucked behind at the moment. One stage was McFadden and McGrory that could very easily have pulled away if they wanted to. 600 metres to go. And there's still an opportunity for McFadden to pounce in this semi-final. Yeah, that long jump, it's a new world record, 7.95 for Marcus Rehm of Germany. We will bring you that, we've recorded it for you. And now let's see what's happening here. It's the two Swiss girls ahead of Tatiana McFadden. They're going to try and help each other out here. Cher and Wolf of Switzerland as they take the bell, leading with McFadden in third place. And leading past the bell, Edith Wolf is up there, Tatiana McFadden and Amanda McGrory coming on the outside for Switzerland. It's Manuel Schaar, got the championship record in the 5,000 metres of the silver medal in that, and the 800 as well, but Tatiana McFadden is looking to make a big move here for the United States. McGrory's up there as well. McFadden, such a familiar figure 
1158. It is the first three who go through from this semi final. And at the moment, it's four who've broken away. Two for Switzerland, two for the United States. Diane Roy is back in fifth place for Canada. McFadden made a move very quickly. She always wants to win every possible race, even if it's a first round heat or a semi final, so she can get the psychological advantage on the ball. Katana McFadden is on her way through, and McFadden will win. Shah is second, and I think it's the American Amanda McGrory who takes third ahead of uh, Manuela Shah. It's a championship record as well, 326 for Tatiana McFadden. Nicely done. She was the champion record holder. And she's uh, taken 10 seconds off her own mark. But here she was in the middle, making her mark very well. And there was uh, a battle for first and second, and for third and fourth, and the Americans won both of them. McFadden was first. Third in the end was uh, Manu McGlory. And the Swiss was second and fourth. Three, 26.93. Champs of record mark, and well, there's, there's nothing new we can tell you about Tatiana McFadden. You've seen everything about it. Really strong. She wanted to win this semi final. Wolf was second, McGrory third, and Shah fourth. That's why and she's McFadden known. Really good. That's why she's known as the beast because she will not let anyone beat her. As you say, she just likes to win. And that, uh, there was no reason for her to win that, she just needed to get in the first three, but win it she did. The Swiss girls worked as a pair to keep up with her, but in the end they got bisected as well by Amanda McCrory. And uh, season's best for Tatiana McFadden, a personal best for Manuela Cher, Amanda McCrory got a season's best as well, Edith Wolf personal best, Diane Roy season's best, Wallingrid got a season's best, it's only Jara that didn't get a season's best or a PB. So really good.